Well, let's get some analysis now with Murat Aslan. He's an assistant professor and security researcher at the Sabahattin Zaim University. He joins us now from Istanbul. Welcome to the program, Professor. We know that uh, fighting is now entering its fourth day in Ukraine, uh, but Russian forces have come across some unexpected Ukrainian resistance. Uh, tell us more about this. Are you surprised at just how well the Ukrainian forces have been able to repel Ukrainian forces so far? Well, let's first visualize exactly what the picture is in terms of military operation. Russians prefer four different axes, and, you know, in each axis, they are advancing in two main directions. And in these directions, most probably, they have a division-level unit. That means they can advance easily, like selecting a target in 50 to 70 kilometers, and they did an handover the other, uh, you know, wave of Russian troops coming behind. And up until now, we were expecting to uh, see Russian troops maybe like 100 or 120 kilometers inside the country, because the tempo of the operation is usually expected really high in, in such a weather condition, because the weather is winter and the soil is frozen. That means they can easily move along the, not, not only the roads, but also on terrain. But it didn't. Uh, I mean, Ukrainian forces repelled most attacks. And second thing, there are some, you know, dynamics for this. The first thing that I have realized is that Russians are using very old technology and vehicles, military vehicles. Well, there are some generalizations for the Russians. For instance, uh, all of their vehicles, uh, military equipment, somehow are resistant to weather conditions, though. And they are amphibious. That means they can easily pass a river. But, you know... It's, it's somehow a metal-tired vehicle. That means that it can easily be broken. So because of that, we have seen many equipment, many vehicles across the roads just because it's out of order and left behind. And contrary, the one who is defending is usually has advantage to repel it because if you have a technical problem with the vehicles and the weapon systems, yes, you can easily stop it. Another issue, uh, Russians, just in accordance with their doctrine, uh, just dropped paratroopers or infiltrated some irregular units with the uniforms of Ukrainian soldiers. Well, it's against the law of war, uh, actually. On the other hand, these individuals are uh, exactly uh, identified by the local forces, isolated and repelled. And uh, the doctrine then has stated because the doctor requires the Russian troops drop the unit and later then unite the one who is, which is dropped and the one advancing. So uh, up until now, uh, I think it's behind the tempo, but Russians will push, push more because as far as political developments in the Western Hemisphere push Russians to stop it through sanctions, they will try to, you know, increase the tempo uh, grab more land as, as much as they can, and later then, you know, have a leverage to bargain at the political level. So we must expect a type of increase in conducting this operation in the coming days. You talked about uh, the Western response there, the fact that they've announced tough sanctions against Putin, but they've also supplied Ukraine with uh, much-needed military assistance, military hardware as well. How important has that been in terms of bolstering Ukraine's defences? Uh, that's for sure. It increases the capacity, capability of the Ukrainian army. But war is something, an integrated system. Well, you can bring some anti-tank weapons, for instance. But, well, first, you have to train the soldiers. It will require, like, days. And later then, you should transfer it to the ones fighting against Russians at another day or two days, actually. And they will first try it and learn how to how skillfully use it. So, well, it's anti-tank. On the other hand, there are other systems fighting. So anti-tank system is just one apparatus that can be exploited by, by, by Ukrainians. But it's if, if it's a system that needs a synergy, it must be more. So it's a good thing to have weapons for, of the Western technology. On the other hand, there must be more. OK, Professor Murat Aslan, we will have to leave it there. But really good to get your analysis. Thank you again. Thank you.